Ladies and gentlemen, the Beatles. That's... Close your eyes and I'll kiss you. I saw the Beatles on the Ed Sullivan Show when I was 16 years old, and it was the most wonderful day of my life. There was an electric feeling in the air. It was just a tremendous rush. And when they came on stage with those dazzling smiles and that incredible music, I just started to scream. The curtains went up, and the Beatles were standing there on stage. I couldn't believe my eyes. There was John, Paul, George and Ringo, and I just started screaming. They were all there. John, Paul, Ringo, George. Ringo was there. Paul, George, Ringo, John, Ringo. Ringo and Paul and George and John. Paul. John was there. And George. I mean, oh my God. Paul stepped up to the microphone, and suddenly the music stopped. And Paul said, now there will be European lasso tricks with my fabulous length of rope. And Paul took a small length of rope out of his pocket and started swinging it over his head. He slapped the rope on the ground and he held the rope up over his head. Those were the two tricks. Paul was gorgeous and I whispered, Paul is gorgeous. And Paul heard me whisper it and he got shy and played the rest of the show standing behind a fern. When the Beatles were finished playing their song, the god of the Beatles came onto the stage so Ed Sullivan could interview him. The God of the Beatles told Ed that he was very proud of the Beatles and he was going to reward them by letting them take their shirts off behind the mall. After the show, I snuck backstage and got into the Beatles dressing room and Paul whispered to me, I have something for you. And he gently took my hand and he dipped it in a bucket of soapy water and I never took it out. I still think about that day every time I listen to the Beatles on the radio, which is not very often because I think they make the donkeys music. It's music by and for mules and other nasty animals. I do not like it at all. Big, huge, major swoon for sure. Of course, for me personally, it's obvious. I love my bucket from Paul. Fish live in the bucket and the fish are dead. And I look at the fish and dogs follow me because they smell the fish in the bucket. It's something I'll cherish forever.